Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. We have gathered here today virtually to mark the end of the academic year 2020-2021. It's a time of joy, but we celebrate the unity we have shared in the past year, the friends we made, the pun we have had together, and we ask God's blessing on all our students and their families gathered here today virtually. And as one community of St. Gabriel Academy, I am inviting one to please all stand and welcome Christ in the person of Reverend Father Kennedy A. Neral.
the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. My dear friends, for those who are one with us through virtually and online, through the live Facebook page of the St. Gabriel Academy, Caloacan City, and through Zoom, and those who are one with us also physically, in this Eucharistic celebration, we offer this as a thanksgiving for the Lord, for all the graces that He has given to us for the whole year of the school year 2020-2021. And we offer also in this Eucharistic celebration for those families who are directly affected by the virus of COVID. We continue to pray for them and for those who have gone ahead of us that is caused by this pandemic. And so in this Eucharistic celebration, we ask for God's pardon and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, do. through my fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. Therefore, therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O God, who always listen mercifully to your servants in distress, we humbly beseech you, as we give thanks for your kindness, that, free from all evil, we may constantly serve you in gladness, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and is with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated and listen to the liturgy of the word. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, Who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told of what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, 
But when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias. And the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias, he answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying. And in the vision he has seen a man named Ananias. Come in and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his sight. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is a chosen instrument of mine, to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel. And I will show him what he will have to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me. Jesus, who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately, things like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained sight. He got up and was baptized. And when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with, this, with the disciples in Damascus, and he began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues, that he is the Son of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Let our response be, Go to all the world and tell the good news. Go to all the world and tell the good news. Praise the Lord, all you nations. Glorify Him, all you peoples. Go out all the, all the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is His kindness towards us, in the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out all the world and tell the good news. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him, says the Lord. Go out all the world and tell the good news. Please all stand to honor the gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father. So also the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven, unlike your ancestors who ate and still died. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things he said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning, my 
and good morning to the whole family of the Gabrielan. Finally, we'll end up now this school year 2020 to 2021. And here is it. We can shout it. We survived. You know, I have to tell you a public confession. It was last year, I, as your director and principal of St. Gabriel Academy, to tell you frankly, I do not know what to do last year. Because we are in a world of volatile, very ambiguous, very complex, and very uncertain. And every time that I have to think of a certain movement, I do not know if it will materialize or not. That's why the only thing that I pray to the Lord, Lord, that I am living in a VUCA world today, I leave up everything to you. Sa iyong mga kamay, inihahabilin ko ang lahat. And here is it, that after one year of academic year, we can say it, finally, we survive. And that is through the grace of God. That's why in this Eucharistic celebration, we offer to the Lord as a thanksgiving to thank the Lord that even that we are in the midst of pandemic, we survive. And this is one of the greatest graces of God given to us this time. Kaya pwede ko bang hilingin sa inyo, pwede ba nating palakpakan ang Diyos virtually and for those are physically. So salamat sa Diyos dahil pagkatapos ng isang buong taon, heto pa rin tayo, humihinga, buhay pa rin tayo. Amen. In the world of education, during that time I do not know of what to do. But because of the offerings of so many webinars, of so many enlightenment, the first thing that we did as a school community, most especially for all the personnel, the faculty and staff, that I'm really sure you have heard the word retooling, reskilling, and upskilling. And this is what we did for the faculty and staff. We tried to imagine of the classroom that will go on into this school year because during the face-to-face, -face, you come to the campus, you come inside of the classroom, that the teacher have the technology, and we called it the chalk talk board. But since you are not coming inside of the classroom, it is through virtual. That's why we have the so-called retooling, the use of the technology today. That's why we use the Zoom as your meeting classroom. Some of you use also the Google Meet, the Microsoft Team. And thank the Lord for providing us of the learning management system that is given to us by our service provider that we called it Genio, the Generation Youth. And through this technology and through these skills that your teachers have imbibed for this school year, we survived. Salamat sa Dios. And one of the things that I would like to thank the Lord for the whole of the archipelago of the Philippines, don't you know that this academic year, this school year, there are 900 private institutions who closed because we really do not know of what really the very reason, but the, the reasons that they have given is no enrollees for these all private institutions. Thank the Lord. Buhay pa rin ang St. Gabriel Academy at hindi tayo napabilang sa 900 schools na yaan. That's why this is one of the greatest graces of God to us. 
we continue to praise the Lord. We continue to thank the Lord. Kaya sa lahat ng mga mag-aaral, sa mga magulang na nandi dito, tuloy lang ang laban. Kapit lang tayo. Kaya sa pag-aaral, kumapit lamang tayo. Tuloy pa rin ang pag-aaral. Dahil kahit ang pandemyong ito, hindi tayo pwedeng pigilang matuto. Kaya pagkatapos ng isang buong taon na ito, kahit hindi ganoon kalaki yung pag-aaral na aming naibigay sa inyo, ang na at least nairaos nating merong naunawaan ng buong taon nito. Meron tayong naintindihan, meron tayong napag-aralan. Yun yung isa sa mga itinuro sa atin ng pandemyong ito, tuloy ang laban sa buhay, tuloy ang pag-aaral. Amen? Kaya hopefully sana by next school year, magkita-kita ulit tayo for next school year 2021-2022. Ang marami kayong itatanong din sa akin, father face-to-face -face na bayan, etc., etc., My answer is what we called it, we are in a VUCA world. Pag sinabi natin VUCA, the volatility, uncertainty, complexity, and the ambiguity of the world. Kaya walang very certain answer this moment. The only thing that I can say is, go on, kapit lang tayo. Dahil darating din ang panahon, God will give us a very organized world according to the plan and hands of God. Amen? Kaya sa inyo, mga magulang at mga mag-aaral, tuloy lang ang laban sa buhay. Huwag tayong susuko. Hanggang sa meron tayong hininga, tuloy ang laban sa buhay. Amen? Finally, to all of you, my dear Gabrielans, I congratulate you because you pursue your education. Sana magkita-kita tayo uli for next school year and accomplish now the pre-enrollment so that you can help the institution and can plan it of what we can do for the next school year. Okay ba, Mama Gulang? So all of us who are one with us physically, virtually, and online, we can shout it to the Lord, we survive. Amen? We come now into the prayer of the faithful. Father, our life has meaning only if it is characterized by love that is patterned after the love you are giving us by the graciousness and preciousness of this gift we humbly lift our voices imploring you to hear and grant our prayers as we say Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear For the church and their members, that in their common love for Jesus, they may find the inspiration and strength to love one another as He commanded us to do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord our for our Holy Father, the bishops and clergies, especially our beloved school director, Reverend Father Kennedy A. Neral, that he may remain true messenger of God's love, leading the faithful to truth and salvation by the holiness of their life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For the leaders of our land, that they may act with justice and recognize that only through brotherly love, patterned after the examples of Christ, can they practice leadership leading to genuine progress and lasting peace in our country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our school community and each of its members, that we may preserve and sustain the atmosphere of fraternal love by setting aside selfishness, indifference, envy, and all forms of injustices. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our school administrators, faculty, and staff who have given themselves so generously in molding us, may their patience, tireless efforts, and difficulties be rewarded by seeing in us the example of mature and responsible Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pray for our own personal intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, may the love you have revealed to us through your Son, Jesus, challenge us to overcome our human weaknesses and help us make our life be always a reflection of yours. While bringing this love to others, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Rise. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, who gave us your Son to rescue us graciously from death and from every evil, accept, we pray, in mercy this sacrifice, which we offer you in thanksgiving for our deliverance from distress through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for although you have no need for our praise, yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift. Since our praises add nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord and so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending your Spirit upon them like that you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, they do the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, 
We support out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy the presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Pablo Virilio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, who fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and have died in your mercy, most especially for those who have been victims of the COVID-19. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray, that Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Gabriel, Dark Angel, our patron saint, Saints Lorenz Ruiz, Pedro Calunzod, and all the saints who place you throughout the ages, we may merit to be chorus eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, to pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that with the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingom, and the power, and the glory are yours, yours now and, and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you set up us as peace. I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in unity and accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with we your spirit. Let us offer its other the sign of peace. This be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. Amen. act of spiritual communion my jesus i believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament i love you above all things and i desire to receive you into my soul since i cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen Good Russia Imperata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us His grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. 
Grant all this through our love, Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, held up of Christian and held up the sick. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Saint Gabriel the Archangel. Pray for us. Let us pray. Almighty God, who through this bread of life are pleased to free your servants from the bond of sin and in your compassion to restore their strength, grant us to advance without hindrance towards the hope of glory through Christ our Lord. So my dear Gabrielans, I thank you so much for joining with us in this Eucharistic celebration as a thanksgiving to the Lord for at least we survive for this school year. So isipin na naman natin uli kung paano tayo magsusurvive for next school year. So pakiusap ko po sa inyo, tulungan nyo po ang school sa pamamagitan na you fill up now immediately of the pre-enrollment form that you can find it out through the Facebook page of St. Gabriel Academy, Caloocan City. And please continue asking your friends to like our Facebook page. And we thank you also, most especially for those who are very generous yung nagbibigay po ng mga stars sa aming Facebook page, lalo na during the Eucharistic Celebration. So maraming marami pong salamat sa inyo. Sa lahat ng mga magulang na umantabay na noong mga tanong-tanong sa akin, Father, hindi naman magtuturo yung mga teachers mo eh. Kami naman magiging teacher din nila, no? Yung mga ganyan. So you, did, you, did you see now the strengthening of the so-called the PSH, the Partnership of the School and Home? The teacher will teach it through online and through the parents. You will guide them and help them in your home. Amen. Sana magpatuloy pa rin yung ganoong gawain natin ng pakipagtulungan because the education is not just simply a work of the school, but it's a, the, the work of the whole school community and of course with the, in the home. So marami marami pong salamat with all the announcements. We will post it in the Facebook page. Para lagi nyong nakikita ang mga announcements na yan, you like it and you follow it. Ang mga susunod na mga activities natin is the uh, moving out ceremonies, uh, the transition rites, the graduation, graduation rites, and uh, ang recognition natin. So we'll just wait it when will be the proper time that we can put it. Pero meron na po kaming announcement, uh, ilalagay na po namin sa Facebook page regarding that matter. So we continue to pray for one another to be safety and to be always healthy. So ingat-ingat pa rin po tayo. No? Ang pakiusap ko po, lalo na doon sa mga kategory ng kanilang vaccination, kasi nauna na po ang mga senior citizens, nauna na po ang ating mga frontliners. Yung ano? Ngayon ay susunod na po yung with comorbidity. So kung manyari, kung high blood ka, with hypertension, uh, diabetes, yung mga ganyan, ano? yung, yung meron tayong bronchial uh, uh, problems, mga asthma. So, pwede na ko kayong magpavaksin. Huwag ko kayong matakot magpavaksin kasi kahapon natapos lamang po yung first dose of vaccination ko po. At ito po naman, buhay pa rin naman ako. Nasa harapan pa rin po na ako ninyo, ninyo. We continue to because this is a grace from God also. Okay po? So, we really need to be vaccinated the 70 to 80 percent of the total population of the whole country or in certain area so that we'll have the herd immunity. So, kung tanong, ano bang vaccine ang pwede natin gamitin? You know, ang sabi ng mga experts, lalo na si Father Nicanor Austriaco, isa po siyang scientist and at the same time a priest, whatever vaccine is in your door, Tanggapin mo na, yun ang sabi niya. So whatever vaccine po, yung ibig sabihin po, ano? So sa inyo pong lahat, and of course, yung talagang insurmountable and infatigable love that you have given and rendered for you, na hindi natin matatawarang servisyo ng ating mga guru, 
Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga teachers na umantabay. So, alam ko kung gaano po kahirap magturo online because I'm also teaching online, ano? So, maraming maraming pong salamat po sa inyo. So, we'll continue to survive for this matter. Ang malaki na lang nating pasasalamat sa Diyos, buhay pa rin tayo and we continue to survive. Amen? So, sa aras sa mga nandito po ay... Kung meron kayong gustong ipagdasal, kahit ano, kahit naghahanap kayo ng boyfriend at girlfriend, pwede nyo i-text sa akin. Because I have always a private masses. Uh, pag sinabing private, is not because I am alone. This private masses is for your intentions, most especially doon sa mga nagpapadasal sa akin. So I really need to, to, to pray and to offer masses for all these intentions. Kaya tinawag ko siyang private masses. So i-text nyo lang ako, i-chat nyo lang ako, and I will pray for that. Amen? The Lord be with you. And my Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go and continue glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. So good morning again, Gabriel Lance. We will have a special announcement to be given by Sir Freddy Gonzalez. The announcement of winners for photo slogan. So may I ask Sir Freddy? Yes. Uh, good morning, Gabriel Lance. We are now about to announce uh, the winners of the photo slogan. Yung contest po naginawa natin last uh, last month. So here are the winners. Congratulations. To our winners for the photo slogan contest for primary. So uh, this is ano ang winner po dito amounting uh, yung first winner uh, yung first place will win uh, one thousand pesos. Wow. Then the second uh, place is five hundred. The third is fourth four 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 hundred. Yeah. So for the uh, primary, primary, no, primary uh, winners. We have for the third place. From kindergarten, Cheryl Beam. And grade one. Ano to? Saint Raphael. Ang third place natin, nagtay sila. May tatlo. Tama po, no? May okay. tatlo sa mga judges natin. So, thank you sa mga judges natin. Uh, with Sir uh, Duard, Sir uh, Franz, ba yan? Sir Franz and Sir Patrick. Yan. 
Sila po yung mga judge po natin ng ano. So for third place, we have three. No, we have Wilfredo B. Rojero, Alexander Luis, and Zilan Kam Kamasis. No, this is Zilan Kamasis. Yan. So second place would be Zinia. Ang liwanag kasi ng kopya ko. <laughs> no, we have Zinia Gauren S. Kamasis of Kindergarten. You know? So, yung dalawang ano, magkapatid, nanalo. Nag, ta, nag, hindi, nag second yung isa, nag ah, third yung isa. Yan. Then we have the first place, our first place would be Quincy. No, Quincy Policar. Tama? Of Kindergarten Seraphim. That's for primary. No? So, first is Quincy. Second is Sinia. Third is Wilfredo, Alexander, and Zila. Yeah, so okay, sir, friends, saan nila makukuha ang kanilang mga prizes? So, ang prizes ay makukuha natin. Saan, sir? Makukuha natin ang prizes natin sa finance office today. Pag wala kay hindi, joke lang. Hindi, <laughs> hindi naman ano. No, today. Ma makukuha nila today. Yan. So, we have the winners. Congratulations to the winners of uh, the elementary or intermediate uh, department. So for intermediate, first place goes to Romina Megan Tonko of Grade 5 St. Judiel. Then second place, we have John Marie A. Borlagdan of Grade 5 St. Judiel. Then we have third place, this is Gabrielle Ann. Balete of Grade 4, St. Siltiel. Yan. So, for uh, junior high school, now for junior high school, we have third place, Sean Kimberly Zane de Lima. Then second place, we have Alan Christian Kines. <laughs> Dito siya. Congratulations. And the first place, is America Joyce B. Egualada. Yan. This is sponsored by the Elementary Student Board Coordinating Council. A total of 6,500 price. Total price. Donated by our generous sponsors. Yan. Thank you po. Kilala nyo po yung mga sarili ninyo. Si Father na po ang bahalang mag magpamisa po sa inyo. Maraming salamat po. Bibigay ko na lang po yung name nyo for the Thanksgiving Mass sa private Mass po niya. So, thank you very much and God bless us all, St. Gabriel. Um, thank you po. So, thank you po din sa ano, sa PHH, uh, PSH, lalo na po sa kanilang project, no? Nagsisimula na po tayong magpagawa ng mga uh, tarpaulins sa lahat ng mga nagawa nating activity for the year 2020-2021. Yan. So, wag po tayong magsasawa na uh, suportahan yung ating eskwelahan. Actually, this week po, magpa-partner po kami ng PSH din uh, with our ano, ng Student Board Coordinating Council with together with Daryl, yung tinatawag nating uh, community pantry. So, we will give you the details. We will announce the details po regarding with this matter po. So, pinag-uusapan na po namin this week by siguro magsisimula po to by next week or or as soon as possible po. Para po matulungan natin yung ating uh, mga kababayans for 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 their ano for their needs po. Yan, for for our announcement po for the year end uh, schedules po for 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 uh, the academic year 2020-2021 March 18 2021 this is Tuesday. So we will have a mass of the graduating and the completers no? at 9 a.m. Then after the 9 a.m. mass, we will be having the kindergarten culminating activity. This is May 18. Then on, no, I will not announce May 19 anymore, but this is, uh, this is the general rehearsal. Then May 20 would be the recognition day, 9 a.m., May 21, this is Friday. This is grade 6 graduation day. This is 1.30 p.m. 
Then May 25, Tuesday 2021, this is the Grade 10 moving up, 9 a.m. Then May 27, 2021, Thursday, graduation day of Grade 12, 9 a.m. So yun po yung, ay kala ko touch screen, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so yun po yung mga announcements po natin ng dates, mga dates po natin for the culminating activity, for the graduation, moving up of the computers and graduating class. This is also po announcement for the graduating and the completers, no? For the grade 6, grade 10, and grade 12. Please check the official list of the candidates for graduation or the candidates no, no. for um, completers, no? If your name is, t is uh, at the list, no? Congratulations. That for the, those who did not see their name, no? Maybe check your um, requirements if you are fully accomplished oh. all the requirements given by the teachers or, um, or what is lacking. Uh, yeah, what, no. it is lacking. what is lacking. To okay, the so we will post the official list of candidates for graduate, graduation and for the completion or completers night. Asap din po yun. Yes. Okay, so all the details of the announcement will be posted in our official SB, uh, FB page. Okay, so... Gala na, Sahel? Yes. So Sir. good day everyone. Congratulations po sa mga undergrad. Salamat. Yeah. Bye! Thank Bye, you! Bye, Gabriel Hans.